This is Veterans in Focus, sponsored by USA Concrete Coatings, from concrete to custom in just one day. Disabilities, mental health issues, and homelessness are just some of the battles veterans face after serving our country. But there is a silver lining when people come together to show compassion, care, and support. I'm Michelle Lorenzo here in Corpus Christi, where there's a population of veterans in need. One man I spoke with told me of his struggles, but like the soldier he is, he's not retreating. And thankfully in this town, he has many comrades who have his back. That story is this week's Veterans in Focus. If I serve my country, I can serve veterans, and that's what I've been doing. Martin Longoria and his team spend several weeks planning the annual veteran stand down. It's something that's, you know, it's heartfelt because veterans, veterans giving back to veterans. Almost every year for the last 10 years, the event is held before Veterans Day. Longoria says since the effort first started, they've been adding more and more resources for those who served. The stand down is designed to be a one stop shop for veterans in need. Whatever the veteran is looking for, we have here. It gives them the ability to where they can come out here, get a haircut, get a meal, you get a backpack, get some type of winter clothing. Sometimes it's, you know, veterans don't know where to go, especially, you know, if they're going to go homeless or homeless. So this is something that's perfect. According to the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, veteran populations are disproportionately affected by homelessness. A variety of factors could influence this, including mental and physical health disorders, difficulty adjusting to civilian life, trauma, and substance use. Walter B. Coleman, a U.S. Army veteran, told me he experienced these challenges after he served in the Vietnam War. I don't elaborate on all the things I've been through, but I will say, all of us sitting around here have problems. We've seen things, done things that we don't even talk about. Coleman does take pride in the service he provided for his country, but he said when he ended his career in the military, he didn't expect to face another war, a war against himself. I drank too much, I did a little drug, all that. Did that issue um, come after the military or because? It came out of the memory. I, I can't, that, 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 that was peer pressure and the environment I was in at the time, it carried over. I got in a situation where I had to take care of family and I couldn't even take care of myself. But Coleman didn't retreat. He's currently on a road to recovery. All it took was some faith. I'll tell anybody, God is good. They can achieve anything they want to achieve, but they have to have faith in themselves and faith in God. The Army veteran also believes divine purpose put him in front of the right people during his time of need. That's when the VA stepped in and and gave me food, gave me all the things I needed. They helped me bring myself back to the person I was before. Coleman is grateful for the many groups and resources that help veterans get back on their feet, but he does say if someone struggling wants their life to change, sometimes they have to admit they need the help. Some of us here, they live in the street. You know, this is an opportunity for them to pick their self up if they want to. And if a soldier understands that it's up to him to take care of himself, then he'll be fruitful and he can pass it on. Now there are local programs that could help veterans and their families as well, including the HUD Bash program. It does provide services for homeless veterans, for housing assistance, mental health resources, health care, and also case management. For more information, you can visit our website, ChrisTV.com. For this week's Veterans in Focus in Corpus Christi, I'm Michelle Lorenzo, Chris 6 News.